today in this video we are going to talk about solid liquid and gases things are all around us all things occupy space and have weight all things living and non living are made up of matter and matter is made up of still smaller particles called molecules and molecules are made up of atoms atoms are also known as the building blocks of matter okay atoms are also known as the building blocks of matter and also known as they are smallest unit of matter so uh, for example one drop of water has 1 million water molecules okay molecules are arranged differently in different matter on the basis of arrangement of these molecules matter can be categorized into solid liquid and gases okay so let's talk about them in little deep little deep okay now first of all we'll learn what is solid solids have definite shape mass and volume in solids molecules are packed too closely to each other the forces between that molecules is too strong that they cannot flow but can only vibrate okay now let's talk about the second thing that liquid liquid does not have a fixed shape or size but only have a fixed volume liquid does not have the shape of its own it takes the shape of the container in which it is poured in the best thing about liquid is that they can flow from one container to another but what is the reason behind it that they can flow from one container to another the reason behind it is that the molecules in the liquid are loosely packed to each other so that they can flow from one container to another so now let's talk about the third that is gases gases can move freely in all directions the molecules in the gases are too loosely packed to each other they do not have fixed shape mass volume nothing okay so now let's talk about um expansion and contraction you know that heating or cooling of the thing can cause the change the change occurs in all the materials from solid liquid and gas okay but the effect of heating is opposite to that of cooling let's understand how okay so now firstly we'll talk about expansion increase in the size or uh, in the size of matter i mean it expands increase in the temperature makes the thing expand when a thing is heated the molecules move faster each molecule take more space then the thing expands the increase in the, the increase in the size of matter on heating is called expansion now let's talk about contraction decrease in the temperature makes the thing contract when thing is cool the molecules slow down each molecule takes less space so that they can contract the decrease in the size of matter on cooling is called contraction so um we'll finish our topic here if you love my video please like it and subscribe it that you can get my new videos and press the bell icon so that you can get the notification when i upload my new video so thank you bye bye